Hello, I am Eike Andersson from the National Centre for Computer Animation, the NCCA at Bournemouth University in the UK, and I am here to talk about the education submission Reconstructing the Past Outstanding Student Created Virtual Heritage Experiences. The Computer Graphics and Animation for Cultural Heritage course is a new addition to the NCCA's undergraduate framework of currently three multidisciplinary Bachelor of Arts undergraduate programs for technical computer animation, art and design, and visual effects that blend science, design, and art education. The course ran with its first cohort of 13 students during the 2019-2020 academic year. It is an optional course worth 10 credits in the European Credit Transfer System that undergraduate students can select for their sixth semester, which is the final semester of the final year of their undergraduate studies. The main purpose of the course is to introduce students who have mainly been preparing for a career in the animation, visual effects and computer games industries to cultural heritage as an alternative domain to which they could apply the skills they have developed during their studies. To this end, the course investigates different forms of cultural heritage and explores different manners in which computer graphics and animation techniques have and can be applied to the preservation and presentation of cultural heritage objects. The intended learning outcomes are that having completed the course, students are expected to firstly have gained knowledge of and insights in methods and techniques that are commonly used in the development of cultural heritage applications. Secondly, to be able to select advanced image synthesis, animation and interactive techniques that are appropriate for use in particular cultural heritage applications. And finally, to demonstrate understanding of the domain by being able to propose appropriate computer graphics solutions for given cultural heritage projects. For assessment, students have to complete individual coursework assignments, including a case study that is worth 30% and a portfolio project for the remaining 70% of the course grade. The domain-specific case study they present has to analyze and evaluate an existing application of computer graphics for cultural heritage. The portfolio project includes the creation of a 3D cultural heritage object chosen by the student, for example the reconstruction of an archaeological find or a historic building, accompanied by a report of supporting background research and the provision of a rationale for decisions made during artifact production. In 2020, the course ran during the spring semester between February and May, so the second half of the course switched to online teaching when due to the pandemic the first national lockdown commenced in the UK. Although the students dispersed all over the world when this happened, losing access to the university's resources, several of the students on the course managed to create high-quality virtual heritage experiences as their portfolio projects, and the following are three of these outstanding coursework assignments. Isabella Deacon used Unreal Engine 4 to create the Stonehenge Past and Present Immersive Virtual Experience, conceived for VR and implemented for desktop PC. A publicly available digital surface model was used to generate an accurate height map of the site and other 3D assets were sculpted using ZBrush. Recent archaeological research findings were used for a best guess reconstruction of this world famous megalithic stone circle, allowing users to experience Stonehenge in its current state after four millennia of decay with missing and fallen over stones, as the Neolithic monument as it would have existed around 2200 BC, and as an intermediate transition version that displays translucent outlines of missing stones within the modern ruins to highlight the reconstruction for comparison. Aaron Bidwell created the Maiden Castle Iron Age augmented reality heritage experience, allowing users to use their smartphones to explore Britain's largest Iron Age hill fort, located in Dorset, as it might have looked like in 400 BC. A digital terrain model by the UK's Department for Environment, Food and Rural Affairs and reports of archaeological surveys of the site guided its reconstruction. The Iron Age roundhouses and restored ramparts were constructed using Blender, and the mobile web browser-based augmented reality visualization was built on top of the WebXR device API. Coral Regibor Bradford used the Unreal Engine to create the Discovering the Tomb of Tutankhamun virtual heritage experience, recreating the 1922 discovery by Howard Carter of Tomb KV62 in the Valley of the Kings in its original state. This allows users to experience the historic moment of discovery and to explore the tomb's antechamber, burial chamber and treasury, with small alterations to allow easy navigation and orientation, such as the omission of debris or the outer shrines of the stone sarcophagus. The site has been faithfully recreated using the original original excavation notes and photographs with more recent color photographs used as material references. Thank you for listening.